538, Big 550 KTRS. It's the new year, and it's healthy eating. That's why we check in with Kat Neville, publisher of Feast Magazine, all-around great woman and friend of the show. Good morning, Kat Neville. Good morning. You are sponsored by Twisted Tree Steakhouse, the newest offering from the Cybergs family at Watson and Lindbergh in Sunset Hills. They're now serving lunch. Check out their Sip and Savor Happy Hour 3 to 6. None better than our friend Jimmy Christo. Call them at 314-394-3366 or at twistedtreesteakhouse.com. We're talking healthy eating today. We are. I mean, after the holidays, I know everybody mm-hmm. has, quote, resolutions, unquote. But a lot of times after the holidays, you just want to cleanse a little bit. Right, yes. yes. Yeah, you've had lots of alcohol and sugar, mm-hmm. and you've stuffed your face with cookies and all that kind of good stuff. So it's time for juicing and vegan food. Yes. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Totally for Vegan it. food being... So vegan <laughs> means absolutely nothing animal-related. No eyes. If it has <laughs> eyes, you don't eat it. Oh, well, it also, uh, no dairy, no, no dairy. honey, right. no eggs. Right. Vegetarian mm-hmm. means you don't, an animal doesn't have to die in order for you to be able to eat is vegetarianism. And then uh, veganism is that there's no animal products whatsoever. Right. And then there are people who just don't eat meat, but eat fish. That is, yeah, that's pescatarian. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, no. I'm the opposite. I'm a meat eater. Uh-huh. I'm, a car- I'm a carnivore. You're an omnivore. Omnivore. Meaning that you eat everything. Oh. Well, I don't eat I don't eat shellfish. That's good. Well, anyway, we're getting yeah. in the weeds here. <laughs> weeds. I don't eat weeds either. I don't like that stuff. Microgreens, however, are now on your diet. We've been discussing off air. All right, okay, get some So we're going to get into, into, the, into the stuff. Okay, Revel Kitchen. I have talked about Revel Kitchen before. It is at 8388 Music uh, Memorial Boulevard, right next to my Lee. And they oh. have uh, a ton of fantastic paleo-friendly gluten-free. But when I was on before, I didn't really mention their juices. Um, So they do amazing juices that you can have um, via just kind of like a nitro, or you can have them in a bottle and take them to go. Mm -hmm. And so a couple of uh, their really great, uh, their most popular are the Summer Sunshine, which is carrot, orange, golden beets, and turmeric. Turmeric is a uh, very popular um, spice in that is kind of, uh, every. it's on Everybody's kind of, you must be adding this to your diet list. It Mm -hmm. helps with um, inflammation, things like that. Um, And there's one called Cool Cucumber, which is is cucumbers, pineapple, and mint. Um, You can add like wheatgrass, bee pollen, protein powder, powdered greens, all that kind of good stuff to all of your juices at Revel Kitchen. Um, Another one is Pura Vegan. And this is at 307 Belt Avenue. (laughs) And they are a cafe and also a yoga studio studio. So oh. you can do your yoga, which I do yoga at least yes. three, four times a week. It's very, very healthy. Clear, clears your mind as well as your body. Um, and then also it, they've been open since 2011. Um, so obviously they have things like wheatgrass shots, but they do seven different fruit and veggie blends. Um, one is the beet street, which is beets and celery, lemon, ginger, cucumber, and green apple. McGraw's just staring into space. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, th- that, that's a lot of information in, in one. It's good one, for you. Okay. That's all you need to know. Right. It's very tasty and it's very good for you. They also offer a subscription service where you can get up to 12 20 ounce sealed jars of their juice per week. So you can just Do go they send and them to pick your house it up. Or something? Oh, you, you pick yeah. it up. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you can um, can just kind of have that kind of on hand. Um, another one is uh, Seeds S E E D Z Cafe, um, and it's from scratch vegan food. And we just discussed the difference between vegan and vegetarian. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, they're in the Demun neighborhood at sixty three forty four South Rosebury. And um, so they do things that are uh, really kind of fun, like a smoked tempeh Reuben. And tempeh, if you've never had that before, is kind of a fermented soybean cake, which sounds really awful, but it's super tasty. <laughs> you can hear McGraw now. I know. He's like, I, didn't, yeah. I did not. I, I don't it. judge. I'm not a judge. It's actually very good. And it, it's used quite often as a meat substitute because it's hearty and it has really great texture. Um, they do a sprouted chickpea uh, veg burger. They also have something that's called a raw violi as opposed to ravioli. Cute. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. They thinly slice uh, beets and then they stuff it with like a walnut pesto. Ooh, so there are yummy. really fun ways that you mm-hmm. can play with the idea of vegan and vegetarian food. Um, another one is Lulu's Local Eatery, yeah. which has been around for a while. Um, it's at 3201 South Grand 
That's been there a while. It has. Yeah. And it's plant-based. They used to be, and they still are, a food truck. And then this is their brick and mortar location. Mm. So you can do, like, they have a very popular sweet potato and black bean burger. They do a kale salad. Um, they do a sweet potato falafel. And they do, like, tater tots smothered in chili. Mm. So just because it's vegan slash vegetarian doesn't mean it can't also be satisfying yes i mean right. you can really you can, you can indulge. find you can find comfort food in with absolutely vegan. absolutely um or smoothie and cafe is another one this is a personal favorite of mine it's been around for years and years and it's at 6654 clayton road everything that is made there has a sense of yin and yang and so like certain Juice drinks and certain menu items um, are meant to pair together, and and when you go up and you and you chit chat with the folks behind the counter, they'll help you pair these different dishes to kind of like do what you want to have happen in your body. Um, and so they do all organic produce. Uh, one of the juices they have is the Blood Builder with carrot, fennel, and beet. Another one is the Kale Tonic with kale, ginger, spinach, and carrot. And I have to say personally, definitely get their spring rolls. They're delicious, and they use. Um, I mean, it's, it's like full of just all these wonderful raw ingredients and wrapped in rice paper. So it's gluten free and it's super tasty. Mm. Gluten free, which baked potatoes have no gluten. Did you know that? <sighs> yes, I did know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought I thought like all carbs was gluten. But that's uh, you not are, true. You are not the only person. Yeah. A lot of people think that carbohydrates equal gluten. Gluten is wheat. Yes. So it's only things with wheat that are gluten. So when people say these potato chips are gluten free, it's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Right. You know, this rice is gluten free. Yeah, it definitely is. Yep. Rice is gluten free. Yes, because it's not wheat. No wheat. So hmm. wheat is, you know, you know, amber waves of grain. Right, right, right. So That's wheat, wheat is in, so is wheat in bread. bread. Is in Pasta. Bread. Pasta. Exactly. Okay. But when you, for example, go to um, when you look at Asian cuisine, um, rice is used to make like rice noodles that you have oh, okay. in um, in Vietnamese cuisine. Right. A lot of Vietnamese food is gluten free because they use rice flour as opposed mm -hmm. to wheat oh, flour. Oh, there you go. Yes. Okay. So just because something has a carb in it does not mean that it has gluten. Yes. But a lot of folks, a lot of folks get confused on that. Just like a lot of people get confused on vegan ver versus vegetarian. It, the, there's a lot of stuff oh, out there. Oh, there's a lot of stuff out there. so many and terms. I think Michael Pollan is the smartest guy out there with regard to food. Eat lots of veggies. Eat as, you know, eat meat if you want to, but don't eat a ton of it. Just kind of be smart about your choices. Don't eat processed food. Don't drink a lot mm -hmm. of soda. Don't right. have a lot of refined sugars and flours. And people ask me all the time, how is it that you, you eat are like a king and you stay so right. thin? Right. It's because I don't eat fake food. Yeah. It's because I eat real food. And that would be my advice there is, you, you know, steer clear of things in packages and you're mm -hmm. probably going to be okay. Uh, speaking of that, how was your conversation with Ina Gartner? It's, yes. it's Garten. Garten. <laughs> And Ina it's next Gardner. week. I, Iron, so, Iron Garden. Oh, you my goodness. And, Ina Garten. And you were actually the moderator for this. I am Peabody the moderator. I'm super excited. It is January the 18th at the Peabody. Uh -huh. And so um, it is next week, and I will be speaking with her. I'm preparing an hour-long interview. So she and I are going to be chit-chatting, and then there will be a Q&A. Uh -huh. So if you join us um, next week for this, it's next Thursday, Wednesday. It's mm. next Wednesday. It's a week yeah. from today. week yes. from today. Um, you can and ask her a question yourself so you have burning questions are you gonna about be a super us. fan or are you gonna be like uh, you're my biggest fan i mean i'm your biggest fan <laughs> <laughs> no i mean i i really admire the way that she approaches her work um you know she has an mba in economics uh, she has a degree in econo economics and mba she was working at the white white house yeah. and then at the age of 30 she bought the barefoot contessa uh, because she just wanted something new in her life something different and her husband jeffrey has been a real support for her mm -hmm. her entire career and so she bought the barefoot contessa which is where the barefoot contessa name came from right out on and the then, island out on like in the hamptons yeah in the hamptons okay. and then after owning that for like 10 years she kind of got antsy again and decided she wanted to find a new path and so sold the cafe or the the store to two of her employees and took about a year to decide what she wanted to do and she ended up um again you know through the uh encouragement of her husband who was like you need you love food find something in that she started writing cookbooks yeah. and that led to the opportunity with the food mm. network. She didn't come to this the way that a lot of people do now where they're like, I want to build a brand. Right, I right. want to be famous. And yeah. I see mm -hmm. food as a way to become that. Right. She 
loved food, loved entertaining, loved cooking. And I think that's why people really respond to her because it's extremely authentic. Yes. Does her husband have any brothers? That sounds like a good guy. I wouldn't <laughs> mind being married to that guy. Find your, find your passion, McGraw. We learned so much about McGraw during these conversations, <laughs> Don't Kelly. Oh, my goodness. Feastmagazine.com for everything, plus all these healthy options. And um, it will be Ina Garten. Garten. Ina Garten. G-A-R-T-E-N. I still couldn't Not figure out. Barbara. I didn't know. I, I was like, why did I name her Barefoot Contessa? What a weird name. Name that is. It's from the store. It's from the store, but that's Which from is a, not closed, right? Isn't it closed? Uh, I, I think, think so. But she sold it a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Cat Neville, Feast Magazine. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. Eight forty.